Auto Line on the Road from the North American International Auto Show is brought to you by Tajin Automotive Technologies and by Magna. Martin Fisher is one of the board members with the supplier company ZF, and I know you're heavily into this whole thing called the software-defined car. Easy question to begin with here, Martin. What the heck is a software-defined car? I think it's software bringing really new life to all this fine product here on the floor at uh, NIAS. And for us means we can really create better value. And that value is both for the consumer, but it's also sitting under the hood and it's also for commercial purposes. So new functionality overall that we can create through software. And is it you know designing in software, controlling things in the car by software, all of that? It's all of that and really it starts for us with a completely new philosophy when we think technology and design products. So we now say software first, digital always. So that guides our troops to really think how are these new functions coming to life. So as your engineers sit down to work on the different components and you make a lot of different things, how is it different designing for a software defined vehicle versus the old mechanical ones? Yeah, I mean, you start thinking really where can the value be generated and data plays really a big role. So think about our systems today, all the sensors they drive around and collect tons of data. And part of that new thought process, software first, digital always, is to consider what can we make out of the data. So give you a consumer's example, right? All our ADA systems, the advanced driver assist systems, would have their cameras and sensors around. So when you drive through town, these sensors can spot a lot of things. And one of these functions we have created is community-based parking. So the sensors are going to spot where are the parking lots. We will have that information being uploaded to the cloud and then can give it to an app to consumers of that very brand, but also broader. And here you see, right, it starts really with the car, with the sensors, and you create value that you can monetize then through that software and intelligence. I love that. So instead of driving around like I did this morning looking for a parking spot, check, the app. check the app and it'll tell me right where to go. That's the idea, yeah. Great example. Any others? Sure, you can go all over the place, right? That was consumers. Think about commercial products. Um, when we think about our commercial vehicle fleet, we're pretty active in trailers. We have a function that's called trailer cast which is basically a connectivity solution by the truck trailers to the cloud, to the fleet operators and so on. And here's now all sorts of information you can provide to make sure your uptime is maximum. What's the tire pressure? Are the brakes okay? You can have a camera in and say, hey, how's my load distributed? Did the logistics folks a good uh, uh, job packaging it in the, into the trailer? Or is there a security risk, a safety risk in the end? So all that information can be uploaded again to cloud and operators, and they will increase uptime by data again. Great examples. Any more? Any more? <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> you endless, just gave me right? two good ones. I know. No, let's, let's go under the hood. Okay. Because also when we think about the traditional systems, so we have a lot of suspension system, as you know, with ZF. That's the former Sachs heritage. And um, we have now little sensors with the suspension system that can sense road conditions. It gets bumpy at times, we know our potholes around here, and um, the system can sense those. So what to do with that information? Municipalities and cities are interested in knowing where the road conditions are worse, where do we send the trucks first? But also when you think further down the road with autonomous vehicles, our algorithms are now smart enough to know, oh, there's a pothole, I let the autonomous vehicle go in around that pothole. So yet another example, more under the hood, maybe less obvious to consumers and the commercial folks, but yet an important feature. This must have changed what you have to do internally at ZF. I mean, I'm guessing you need a lot more software engineers. What kinds of other changes have been going on? Yeah, it's certainly building the organization for it, um, but it's also the leadership that we apply to that whole area, software first, digital always, right? So we do have our digital days every single year where we can encourage the organization to come up with novel ideas and showcase that up to the board of management and then really share the good ideas to create that whole movement within the organization. So that's the internal side of it. Mm -hmm. But also when it comes to the customers, right? For us, it's important that we collaborate in these spaces. And in order to do so, first of all, you got to show what you have, right? Trade show being a good chance but also you have to create the environment, the processes, the systems that enable that collaboration. So we are today to the point that we can develop software with some of our customers on one development platform in the cloud. 
So the customer is going to provide functions, we integrate them with our functions and deliver a complete product out of that. So as you're getting all these exciting ideas, putting things together differently, collaborating with your customers, what do you think? What, what's the next step? What's coming? I mean, there's so much growth in that whole area, right? And it's just starting, and um, we have to accelerate that. And when I think about our customer work, we have quite a few pilots going in that way, and it's really building organization on both sides, the OE sides, the tier sides, and that's going to create the real value in the end. Well, it'll be interesting to see what you all come out with, for we sure. We will, and CS is the next chance, right? Okay. To discuss technology, we'll be out there with some more. We'll, we'll get an update then. For sure. Martin, thanks for your time. John, really you. appreciate it. Some things are good for a while, until something better comes along. Tajin Automotive Technologies is helping make metals a thing of the past with advanced composite materials. Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility.